Two wins on the season for Max McLaughlin. One came early down in Volusia. The other came at Oswego. That's right, on the asphalt. Mm -hmm. Today he's here with the Super Dirt Car Series. Has his big block with him here today. Haven't chatted with you in a while. How things been this year? Not too bad. Uh, pretty hit or miss, really. Uh, it's a tough with the coil deal. You know, it's evolving so much. Everybody's trying to get better. And usually uh, when you try something out of the box, it you know usually doesn't work. So, um, you know, we've been all right. We've uh, been pretty good lately, especially with this new chassis. It's helped us a lot. So. Um, you know, we ran second to Matt at Weed Sport and, um, you know, improved our car. Thought we were going to be better for the next day, and then we rained out. So uh, we'll see what we got today. So we haven't headed out since that second no. place at Weed Sport? Yeah. Okay. This is the car you guys built like about a month ago or yep. so? Yep. Okay. Anything different than stuff you've had before, or is it just nice uh, to have a new frame under you? Yeah, just new. Um, you know, I think after a, a little bit, these cars, uh, you know, flex a lot mm -hmm. and they start to break. And, um, you know, new cars just seems like... A, you know, Peter Britton won one with a new car right out of the box. It just seems like, I don't know, when they're new, they just go. And, uh, um, you know, as they get a lot of races on them, like ours was, you know, running one car all the time, uh, it definitely got some, some wear and tear. And um, you know, I think it'll, I think this new one's definitely a lot better. Does it feel better? Yeah, way better, for okay. sure. For so sure. how close do you think you are? I mean, second place to Matt at Weedsport, you got to be right there. Yeah, right? I mean, the first night out, we were quick time overall to Orange County, uh, won our heat, and then broke a shock in the main, but actually still ended up fifth. So, um, you know, if we wouldn't have broke, I think we could have definitely contended for the win, without a doubt. So, um, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll see. I think we struggled here last time. We were horrible. So, um, you know, we'll see what we got today. I think we'll be a lot better for sure. I was surprised about the Weedsport, or excuse me, the, the Oswego win. Did it surprise you? A little bit, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, those cars are wild, the super modifieds, and, uh, you know, definitely the fastest thing I've ever driven. So yeah. to get a win, you know, first time out was – was pretty wild for sure because yeah, people don't do that at oswego yeah it's it's tough so i just um, <coughs> you know mark the my name off as a winner at oswego is pretty cool and um now i've done it once i i don't even know if i really care to go back it's those yeah. cars are wild and um you know i don't really see myself racing supers for the rest of my life so uh you know i'm, I'm pretty content with being a future winner and a super modified at oswego and uh you know get back to my dirt and focus on my dirt racing is there any asphalt in the future at this point yeah with the wheel and modified tour still gonna okay. do that um you know, and then next year again, I, I think. So, um, yeah, definitely. I like the modifieds for sure. The asphalt modifieds are cool. Yeah, I've, seen, I've only seen them a handful of times, and they, they look like a very fun car to drive, are they? Yeah, they have a lot of grip, and they're fast. So um, not as fast as a Super, obviously. Right. But, um, you know, they go really good. The, the racing is really tight, really awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, big tires. They're low. I mean, it's, I, I've sat in them at the shows before, so they really are a unique experience. Oh, yeah, they're cool. They're, uh, they're one of the coolest race cars. In my opinion, it's my favorite asphalt race car for sure. Okay. Um, it's always a good race no matter where we go. And yeah. um, strategy plays out, live pit stops. It's yes. just a lot of cool uh, you know, variables that can go uh, you know, in your favor and can go wrong that you know, affect the outcome of the race. So uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. Where are these Wayland Tour races you're going to run? Uh, we don't know yet. I mean, next weekend's uh, Stafford in Connecticut, but I'll be at Albany. Okay. So if Albany rains out, I'm driving up to Stafford and going to jump okay. in. So, okay. Uh, that's kind of the at the end of the year all these big races we race in every weekend so it really you know not screws up because i plan to be here in the dirt car anyways mm -hmm. but um you know it definitely affects the asphalt schedule for sure yeah all right so after in albany saratoga is two days right friday and saturday or just friday? Uh, i think it's just saturday just for you guys on oh saturday yeah okay. i think they have something else on friday yeah i probably won't maybe not you so yeah i don't we just you know we're in the points hunt for the championship and yeah. um you know we really we've been all right but we haven't been outstanding um, this new car is a heck of a lot better. So, um, you know, we got a fresh piece under us. I'm really just going to try to focus on the series stuff, probably go to Eastern States 200. But other than that, we're not really going to, um, you know, wander off too much. Uh, Fulton? If it outlawed to it, probably not, probably actually. Not. Okay. Yeah, 200 laps and I don't know, maybe. Maybe okay. we can take one of their, their other cars, okay. possibly. But, Super yeah, Derby? probably not our car. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Two we'll or one? There. I don't know. Um, you know, I you know, had to talk to... Uh, Larry Welling and, and see what they want to do for, for the small block deal. And they've had a lot of people in their car. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. had uh, Eric Rudolph in it and also had Frankie Caprera a couple mm -hmm. times. So, okay. Good yeah. car. So Yeah, yeah. We should have won first night out with it and broke. And um, they've had some other good runs and just got real busy at, and at the end of the year. And Candy Ham's like four hours from my house. So oh, it's, it's, long, uh, huh? it's <laughs> tough to get there on a Friday night for sure. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I hope to maybe hit some big races with them and, uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't go to Mohawk last night. I didn't race till like four in the morning, but um, yeah, it was cool to you know see Eric win there, and uh, mm -hmm. you know they definitely got good stuff for sure.
good to see you. Say hi to Dad for me. Hit the bluey guy, subscribe, yeah. and uh, just send you an email letting you know we're, every time we're doing something cool. Nice to see you, and maybe I'll talk to you one more time, man. Yes, sir. Thanks, Doug.